Hello everybody, today I'm going to unpack and take a close up look at the Gerber Trust multi-tool. So let's just take a look around the outside of the packet. So in this packet is a Gerber Trust multi-tool. It is a stainless steel folding 17-in-1 multi-tool. And just taking a look at the product packaging, which has a list of features as well as a diagram of the tools. And taking a look at the back of the packaging, there is a list of the 17 tools in this multi-tool. And there is a sheath or pouch as well, as well as other product information. Now let's go ahead and open up the packet. But of course, cutting it open, and over here I have a Westcott soft grip scissors, which I've unpacked on the channel before. Let's see if we can cut through the card packaging, and of course being careful not to cut into the product itself. And popping the packet open and just sliding the pouch out first and there are some other bits and bobs as well let's see if we can tear the paper divider open and of course sliding the Gerber trust multi-tool out and we can see that there is a security tag in there and with the contents removed we can set the packet to the side and contents on the tabletop so you have a full and clear view of the items from this Gerber trust multi-tools card packaging okay just making some slight adjustments right there so right there Full clear view of the Gerber Trust Multi-Tool along with its carry pouch or sheath. Now let's start off by of course separating the contents once again, this time around with the user manual out as well. So right there, full contents on the tabletop. Let's first take a look at this paper packet. with the safety details in various languages for this Gerber Trust multi-tool. So right there, showing you the English details right there at the bottom. So caution, information, and now that's done, we can set it to the side. So let's set it on the left hand side of the table. So right there. And moving right along, we have the sheath itself. So a nylon sheath or pouch. So giving you a look at the details right here. So it does have a coarse weave, as you can see. And of course, the Gerber stitched or embroidered into the flap of the carry pouch. So giving you all the details right there. The white stitching on black. And to give you some idea of the size, resting the pouch in my palm. And the back of it as well. And of course, let's Pop the flap open just to give you some idea of the fastening or closure. So it does have a hook and loop closure or velcro closure. And taking a look inside of the pouch. And of course the overall design right there. So there is a see-through or exposed bottom. So right there is the Gerber's truss 
multi-tools, pouch, or sheath, and of course there are carry loops or belt loops built into the back of the pouch. Okay, so setting the pouch to the side or sheath to the side, let's move on to the Gerber Trust Multi-Tool itself. So it does have some weight to it, even though it does have a stainless steel construction with, as you can see, optimized handles with that partially skeletonized design and it does have a light flat gray finish to it on the handles and right there giving you a look throughout and once again for some idea of the size of the tool itself the 17 in one Gerber truss multi-tool gripping it in my hands and of course it does have a spring-loaded design for its pliers the light action as you can see right there once again giving you some sense for scale and perspective of this Gerber Trust multi-tool and giving you another look in this perspective and of course the various aspects of this multi-tool and of course it does have a butterfly opening so to close it up of course folding into a fully closed state right there measuring four and a quarter inches in length fully closed or 11 centimeters so compact in design right there when fully closed And now taking a close-up look in its compacted or closed form, you can see the tools all neatly packaged into its handle. And right there with the trust branding or model name. And of course, the other tools, the drivers on this side with a blade and so on and so forth, which we'll take a look in just a moment but nonetheless giving you an idea of the overall design, size, shape, and of course, the tools in this Gerber Truss Multi-Tool. Okay, so once again, this time around, opening it back up we have the needle nose pliers and taking a close up look at the needle nose pliers right there at the jaws of the pliers and of course that light spring loaded action and we can see the wire cutters as well so giving you those close up details as best I can and right there the jaws head on So once again, giving you a look at the various aspects of this Gerber Trust Multi-Tool. And let's fold it closed once again and take a look at the tools in the handle. So there is a nail nick, which is handy for pulling out the various tools. You can see a fine blade right here and of course the very large nail nick for easy 
listing out and deployment of the blade and now moving right along let's see if we can pop out the other tool and of course before I do that just giving you a look at the lock as well so you can see that the blade does lock in place and to release simply slide down to release the lock of the blade and the other tool so once again just opening that up and deploying the rest of the tools here so you can see there is quite an array of tools as I go through them and space them out very carefully course the scissors as well so scissors has to be fully deployed obviously they're not meant to be used altogether but nonetheless just giving you a look at the selection of tools right there and let's move on to the opposite handle with the serrated blade see right there and you can see how easy it was with the pulling out or deploying of the blades and other tools so right there fully deployed the tools in the handle of this Gerber truss multi-tool And still, of course, being careful here to avoid the blades. You can, of course, deploy to give you that full aspect, or more or less, right there. I'm just going to set it on the tabletop so you have that view of the various tools in its design. Okay, so going to close the handle back up very carefully. And this time showing you one tool at a time. So let's close them all back down. And you can see that the blade does lock with that locking switch or slider. And you can see the engagement or release catch. And let's close up the scissors along with the bottle and can opener. The awl. And you can see the file along with a flat head screwdriver. And of course back to the fine edge blade. Once again releasing the lock and closing it all back down and now let's take a look at each one so let's start off with the serrated edge blade right here giving you a look at this blade so fine edge tip pointed with that serrated edge along the base of the blade and moving right along, let's see if we can pick the next tool out without. So right here, you can see the large flathead screwdriver along with the wire stripper. And to give you some idea of how it looks in hand. And let's pop out the next tool, which is the screwdriver. And once again, that locks as well in place. So they all do lock in place. 
needing to release with the sliding lock right here. Nonetheless, giving you a look once again, this time around at the Phillips or crosshead screwdriver. It's right there, giving you some sense once again. So, releasing the locking lever or slider, and this time around deploying the saw. So there is a saw right here, and you can see just how jagged those teeth are, with a staggered design. Gripping it in my hand, the truss multi-tool with the saw and releasing and closing. So two-handed operation, one to release the lock and the other to fold the tool in or lift the tool out. Uh, lifting the tool out doesn't require any locking or unlocking, but nonetheless giving you a look right here at the scissors. So it is spring-loaded with a very simple and elegant spring design. It's right there giving you a look. So high tension on this one, as you can see right there, just flicking it, it does. Go to a closed state with that strong spring. And moving right along, we do have the small flathead driver along with can and bottle opener. And let's see if we can lift the next one. So there is a nail nick on the top edge as well. So right here, the all. And it does work as a blade as well. You can see that it does have a fine middle tip edge to the awl. And of course, moving on to the next tool. So you can lift it out just about slightly tricky here, might have to lift the blade out first to show you the ruler that was tucked just before it. So right here is the ruler with its graduated measurements and on the opposite side is a file. And it also works as a flathead driver as well with that tip. So right there are the graduations and units of the file, ruler, and flathead driver. And once again, back to the fine blade right here, measuring two point two five inches or two and a quarter inches in length and unlocking the locking lever or slider and folding it back down and that is a full look at the Gerber Truss Multi-Tool with its 17 tools built into its stainless steel handle or body. And of course, we do still have the pouch that we can slide and carry the tool about in. So right there, neatly packaged into its pouch with its two carry loops and of course the 
hook and loop fastening or closure right there once again. Popping the tool back out. And giving you one more look at the Gerber Truss Multi-Tool. So that's the Gerber Trust Multi-Tool. Thanks for watching and happy carrying!